What's going on, world? It's your boy Gemini Brown here, back with another episode of Nalo Kicking Knowledge. Today, we'll be taking a look at this week's forecast, seeing what the stars have in store for us. So, let's get into it. As always, shout out to all the Virgos celebrating birthdays this week, as well as the Libras celebrating too, as the sun will be transitioning from Virgo into Libra. Okay? So, we're starting off this, we got a couple things to get to. All right. And I do want to make room for Libra energy. Um, yeah, I want to start it like that. I want to make room for Libra energy because it really fits into what's going on right now. Okay, people. Libra. It's not Libra season. Fall, uh, equinox and all of that. Okay, so Libra cardinal air. This is going to be a time within. Now, mind you, we're. If we go from the astrological new year, we're 180 degrees away from that point. So it's half time within the astrological year. And with our other calendar, we know what time it is in regards to having it been Virgo season in the Libra. So, like I said, you really just want to gauge yourself at where you are with your calendars. So look at Libra season overall for all of us as a time where we're going to check in with our sense of balance and how the balance that we put into our lives, how that is helping or hindering us or the lack of balance. OK, so wherever Libra is, you're going to be going to going to be feeling really sensitive and that sensitivity can come from being overly on one side of of a particular thing whether it's work relationship right it can be it, that sensitivity can come from being on that side or it can come from the realization of knowing you're not working as hard as you need to now that naturally brings us to this full moon okay this full moon in the sign of pisces at the end of of Pisces and Virgo, which is very, very significant, y'all. And then we already got Mercury and Mars here. So, although it's just about to be Libra season officially, I think that there's been a ton of Libra themes within all of our lives, okay? And I always got to tell people, always remind people, Venus and Libra is about more than just romantic or even platonic partnerships it's at its highest peak it's the principle of right relation how do we relate towards others right um but as i mentioned it's also our sense of harmony when we think of sun in libra specifically think of your vitality being uh attached towards your sense of balance so the more energy you you have the more balance you feel the less you have the more depleted you're going to feel and the need to have to get back there okay then libra is also dealing with others like like how others perceive us so if now this is where it gets interesting if libra is in your 11th house you're going to your partnerships your friendships, they may all line up with your hopes, dreams, and wishes. So, you know, the same people that you're engaging with for friendship, you're engaging with for those 11th house things, right? But you're all, it's also the awareness of how you're coming off towards those people. So with this energy that's been in Libra, I feel like all of these things have really been highlighted, particularly that sense of balance and then having to understand or main, the understand that the a large portion of the balance for all of us comes from Aries being an individual and consciously expressing that individuality. So this is going to be a big thing that comes up with this Mercury retrograde. So I'm not going to talk too much about it now, but that is an energy that's very much present and it's not going anywhere because Mercury will retrograde. Okay. So even though this full moon is dealing with, with Virgo things, Pisces things, so our day-to-day -day routines, you know, our spiritual life, we do need to think about it, that in conjunction with others. How are others affecting our practices of that? In addition to us holding our own selves accountable, okay? So with this full moon, 
it's our wants and our needs in these areas. So basically, it's very simple. This moon in Pisces is illuminating your self-sabotage uh, aspects, okay? And where you've been holding yourself back, where you've been lost. Now, what I want everyone to do is that you just got a preview of it last week. What was that sun opposite Neptune transit like for you, okay? Did you allow yourself to be still? And if you were still, what insight did you gather? Last week was one where, and this is going to come to a head with this full moon, you were able to see glimpses of the truth, of your own truth, right? And for this full moon, that truth is going to be in opposition with the illusion. You have to pick the right one. Now, Mercury's trying Jupiter, which is blessing this full moon, which lets me know that no one should be making the wrong decision. Everyone, even if it's not to your liking, everyone should have full understanding and truth about why things are the way they are. Okay? So, with this said, like I said, you're going to look at the truth and you're going to look at the illusion. That illusion last week, for some, it might have felt real because it's attached to your ego. But now, this full moon is really going to force you to have to say, okay, what is the truth? How does the truth make me feel? And how does the illusion make me feel? And it's very likely that the illusion is only temporary. Okay? And then the illusion represents this loop, which is the next part that I want to get to with this energy. This is happening at 28 degrees, which is really about completion, which is, I believe that, you know, the plan is really start bringing, like allowing ones to manifest at, at these levels. So if you've been committed to a particular path, um, school of study, like whether it be astrology or something, this is the full moon where everything comes together. Where even if, like, let me use the example of like astrological knowledge. Say you've been unsure of your astrological knowledge. This is the one where you, you're you going to have to believe in it because you got all the answers that you need. So I, I sense that many, be, many are seeking... Uh, answers to questions that they have but i am letting y'all know that you already have the correct answers you have to trust yourself and if you go if this is a thing where you're seeking too much outside of yourself it might complicate what you already know so there's a real need to release that illusionary thing man choose truth okay the next part of this full moon is going to be about, you know, like I, I've been saying, a good time to do rituals, a good time to get yourself to believe. And I feel like if you were a person that had a great week last week, you you were on the good side of that Sun-Neptune opposition, keep going. Build upon that momentum. There's going to be more conviction in what it is that uh, you're bringing forth right now, Okay. The more you can stand within the truth, because we're, we've all been on journeys. We've all been on journeys, y'all. And there are peaks and valleys within the journey. And there are certain times where you're going to start over. But you know, times when you start over, you start over with all the wisdom of from previous times. And I feel that is one of these times that it's like, okay, I know what I need to do. Now it's just really a matter of doing it. All right. So talk a little bit more about this Mercury trying Jupiter. Um, so I already talked about intuitively, y'all. Trust your intuition. Focused on optimistic thinking rather than what can go wrong. Because Mercury's going to be, Mercury's very interesting in, on this full moon. We're going to be squaring Pluto as well as trying Jupiter. Take it from me. You know what this, how this translates? There's something in your mind of how you, you think it should be or how you think you need to go at it, right? 
but then there's there's something that you just need to do. There's a way that there's a sacrifice we could say that just needs to be made. So when I was really channeling this, y'all, it, it, it really was just coming across as like, stop cheating and do the work. So with that, there isn't really much more to say. It is very simple. Stop cheating yourself and do the work. Everyone's on their own individual journey. There are going to be different things that we all have to do differently to that is going to help our own ascensions. Okay, one thing you will have to uh, get over, and it's funny, I've been talking about addictions all week. Part of knowing astrology is, or understanding astrology is to know thyself. So if you come across and realize like, damn, I really have an addictive personality. You can't look, this is the Libra thing to do. Oh, why do I have an addictive personality? How can this person do such and such and it doesn't seem like they, everyone's struggling with something, right? And everyone is not the same. That battle is not a battle they need to fight in this lifetime. But it is a battle that you need to fight. That's really what this Mercury, square Pluto, trying Jupiter is. Right action. Attuning the mind to do the correct things. Because it, it knows. So choose wisdom. The Pluto in this sense would be like, the Mercury square Pluto... <laughs> In essence, it's ignorance. It is. It's ignorance. It's like, <clears throat> kind of know this shit, but fuck it. All right? That's where we're at, y'all. Nothing too crazy. But this can be a really fulfilling um, full moon if handled correctly. And as long as you're dealing in truth, you're going to be all right. Okay? So I didn't even get into all the X talk. But we will soon because Mer we got like 10 days before Mercury goes retrograde. So, uh, yeah, I I'll be dropping that message off soon. But, uh, yeah, this is my interpretation of this week's forecast. I hope you guys enjoy. I'm actually going to come back because I just covered the full moon here. Um, if there's any other things, uh, feel free to chime in. Let me know what's going on in your world. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, you can do so now. If you need a reading, click the description link. Send me an email. We'll set something up. Until next time, peace.